This tutorial will walk you through the steps of using the library resources available to you as a student. You have previously registered for your Athens Access. Most students did this in their first on-campus course or their first online course. To get to My Athens, sign on to bsmcon.edu. Go to the Students tab, and on the left-hand side is a link to the library. And from here, click on Athens and Catalog. Click on Athens Resources, and you're going to log in using your Athens information. If you have not saved your ID, then you can click on Problem Signing In, and it will help you recover your password. Or if you cannot remember your username, you can begin another registration at register.athens ams.net forward slash BSR. This will walk you through registering for a new Athens account. When you are on campus using campus computers, you do not need to use your ID to access My Athens. On any campus computer, you can go to My Athens through the eLibrary, which is accessible through IRIS under Key Communities. Or again, you can go to our college website, the Students tab, click on Library, and then go to My Athens. So Athens is an international software, and Bon Secours has their own individual instance of this software. When you open Athens, you'll see a screen just like this. Choose the Resources tab at the top to be able to see a list of databases available to you as a student. The resources listed here are vast and rich, even if the list looks short. The list is occasionally changed and is not always alphabetically arranged. Once you are looking at the various database titles, you can get a description of each one by using the display options on the left sidebar. Explore all the databases to familiarize yourself with the resources. For Bond Score students, the friendliest database to use is EBSCO Discovery Service. Find that in the list and open it by clicking on the link. This will open a new window for you. EBSCO Discovery is a unified database and lists an enormous number of full text articles. If EBSCO Discovery cannot provide the full text as a PDF, it still provides you with a link to where you can access the full text. For an example, let's do a search for an article on medication, reconciliation, and safety, and geriatric. Unlike Google, in a database search, you should always type the word and between your keywords. So our search says medication reconciliation and safety and geriatric. Notice that the keywords are retyped on the left sidebar. The left sidebar also offers ways to refine and limit your search results. Notice there are over a thousand search results from this search. So you definitely want to limit the number of results to make the results as current and meaningful as possible. With the keywords that we entered, Discovery provides you with thousands of articles. Still, you want to cull those results. You want material that is no older than five years, and you as a professional always prefer peer-reviewed material. On the left sidebar, we will limit the results to five years and peer-reviewed by selecting peer-reviewed, and changing the year to 2011. Notice that it updates it every time we make a change on the left sidebar. As almost all assignments at the college will require you to have the most recent publications, five years is the standard expectation. You can see that the number of results has dropped by half. Limits help find the most current material and also reduce your feelings of being overwhelmed. In EBSCO Discovery, you will be able to find the PDF icon on most articles. Click on the title of the article and read the abstract. If then, after reading the abstract, you want the article, click on the PDF and save or print it. A new screen will open and you will have the option of downloading the PDF. You can do it by clicking download PDF 
or this icon that looks like a down arrow. If you would prefer to print the PDF, you can click the print icon that is in the top right corner. If you do not immediately see the toolbar, run the mouse over the top of the screen and it should pop up. When you save an article, save it by the first author's last name. For instance, here it's Paquin. And add the year after the author's name. That way, after you have collected a few articles of interest, you can begin to differentiate between them by the author's names and be able to make a mental note how current the article is. So for example, I would save this article as Paquin et al. with the uh, year in the parentheses. Not all articles will have a PDF readily available. You'll notice here that there is not a link for PDF full text. Instead, it says full text finder. So when you click on this, it will help you find a full text that you can still download as a PDF and save or print. So for instance, when you click on that, it will open a new tab, and here it will still give the abstract and the information, and you can download the PDF of the article here. If you don't have a link for the PDF full text, and you also don't have a link for a full text finder or full text through a link source, sometimes there will be a link for you to request a PDF from the library. Follow the prompts and the request that you submit asking for help in accessing the full text of the article will be sent to the library. Within 24 to 48 hours, the library will send you an email documenting that they received the request and either provide the full text to you or report that they are working on accessing the item from a shared library. When developing a search, it is helpful to use the PICO format as a way to help you find the best words. For example, P may mean children with autism, the I may be tactile stimulation, the C may be eliminating tactile stimulation, the O may mean emotions, and the T, for instance, may not be applicable for our search. As always, connect keywords with AND. This is vital in database searching, unlike in Google. Sometimes when you click on a link to find the PDF full text, it will open up a publisher's login page. Try using your Athens username and password. If after following the sequences required, you still cannot access the full text, send a screenshot of the article title to library at bsmcon.edu, our library email, so that the college librarians can access the article for you. If you need assistance, you can email us at library at bsmcon.edu. Again, that's library at bsmcon.edu. If you prefer to meet with us digitally, you can go to our college website, and again, under the Students tab, find the library link, and here you have the ability to knock on our door and talk to us in real time or schedule a meeting with us so that we can help you with any issues that you may be having. If you want to use ebooks, you can also find these through MyAthens. The easiest place to find a nursing oriented ebook is from the R2 Digital Library. So when you're in MyAthens under Resources, find the R2 Digital Library in the list. Remember, it is not always categorized alphabetically. Once you find the R2 Digital Library, click on that link and it will open up a new window for you. Once in the R2 Digital Library, type in your keywords, being sure to use nouns connected with the word and. This will open up a list of ebooks that you have access to as a student. If you begin scrolling down the results page and not notice that a title has the word references in it in all caps, this would really only be a list of articles and books. It's great information, but not a solution to accessing an ebook. What you want to see are titles that do not have the word references in them. These will lead you to full text chapters 
On the left-hand side are ways for you to limit your search. This is especially relevant because you generally want a recently published ebook. So pay attention to what you're looking for, whether it's a full text, a book title, chapter title, a practice area, and especially the publication date. This can help you limit and find the most recently published ebook. Once you find a relevant ebook, be especially interested in the small print below the title. This is a link to the bibliographic information you will need to create a reference for the ebook. Please note that oftentimes the publisher's location will not be provided, so use Google to find where the publisher is located to provide a complete reference in your reference list. Please be sure to email us or visit us through Cranium Cafe if we can help with any issues or questions you may have. Enjoy the resources!